Welcome back to The Cutting Board. Right now, everybody's talking about probiotics. When it comes to health, we're talking about probiotics, and if you're talking about probiotics, people are telling you to eat yogurt. So if you're on a plant-based diet, how are you gonna get these probiotics? Okay, so there are probiotics you can buy at the store. There are literally hundreds of different brands and different strains of friendly bacteria. A probiotic is a friendly bacteria that lives in your body and helps your immune system. So when we talk about bacteria, generally there's a negative connotation to bacteria, but our bodies are mostly composed of bacteria, bacteria. right? Bacteria, exactly. And you have good bacteria and you have bad bacteria. And the good bacteria keep the bad guys in check. All right, so and actually the good bacteria helps your natural killer cells fight cancer better, your white blood cells chomp on invaders that come into your body and you know you touch things, you touch your face. Friendly bacteria is your friend, that's why it's called friendly bacteria. And if you have a good flora in your body or you have a proper balance of friendly bacteria, you're going to need less antibiotics. You're going to make less visits to the doctor because of the population of friendly bacteria. So, so I noticed here that you've got some soy milk. Yes. And what are we going to do with this? Um, I've experimented with different kinds of soy milk to make yogurt and found this to be the best brand. It's organic Trader Joe's soy milk and there are only two ingredients, soybean and water. Okay. Okay. That's what you want to use. If your area doesn't have Trader Joe's, look for just soybeans and water. The most simple soy milk. Exactly. Because others have some um, things that will just slow the process down. And I just have this um, friendly bacteria from Jaro. It says ideal bowel support on here. So if you're not regular, it's going to help your regularity. But what we're looking for is the culturing effect of the friendly bacteria. This particular one is called L. plantarum and it is plant-based. So to make yogurt, it's so easy. I mean, you're gonna love this because as a vegan, I became vegan about 30 years ago. One of the things I missed was sour cream and yogurt because I really like that sour, you know, put it on mashed potatoes with polenta and different things. I, I always love that sour flavor. And so all I do is take one of these capsules, open up my Trader Joe's organic soy milk. You're gonna make it, I should just make it in here. I'm gonna make it in here because it works and why not? So I'm just gonna pop that open. I'm gonna open the capsule up, pour the contents in. You can even drop the capsule in there and then just shake it up. And now it's gonna take three full days to become yogurt on your kitchen counter, not in your refrigerator. So today is Sunday. Mm -hmm. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, this is gonna be ready. So I write Wednesday. So you're gonna leave this on your counter? Yes. Not in the fridge? Not in the fridge. And after three days, it, it kind of bulges a little bit because okay. there's activity going on in there. The bacteria is multiplying. So you're actually gonna get a little bit more mass in there. Okay. If you take a pill of this, you're gonna have like a billion probiotics in here you're gonna have like gazillions of <laughs> okay. probiotics okay so it's for the whole family right okay so it's gonna stay here now when Wednesday comes around in this mm -hmm. case shake three it days up. has passed you're gonna shake it up it's ready for use at that point am I refrigerating it yes okay and then it'll be good for about a month and then we don't have to use this capsule every time okay so I have some yogurt that I made That's a few finished. days ago that finished on Thursday and so I have two options I can get another capsule and break it into this one to make more yogurt I usually have three going at a time but I don't use the capsule anymore I just open this up and I pour some of the prepared product into here, just a little bit, like two tablespoons or so. See how thick it is, David? Yeah. It's lumpy and thick. It's yogurt. And it's yogurt. You can pour some in there for you. And I shake this up, and this one will be ready on Wednesday as well. So I really only had to buy the capsule the one time. Exactly. You can buy a pack for like how many friends and everyone gets one. <laughs> okay. Now the one time I will need a capsule again is if I go on a long vacation. Right. Or 
We ate it all up and we forgot to save two tablespoons. Okay. All right, so let's see what the consistency is like here. See how nice and lumpy it is? All right, now this one here is not gonna have any flavor, right? It's just the plain. Yeah, it has that nice milk. sour yogurt flavor. Now, there are different pro probiotics you can use. Yeah, it's yogurt. It is. So I'm not gonna wanna use a flavored milk. No, no. They always have other ingredients that actually stop the process. So this is this what we need, just something plain, soy yes. milk. We have this consistency, the flavoring could happen after. Yes. So give me a, a way to eat this. You could blend this with raspberries and honey and you'd have raspberry yogurt, peaches, okay. and a sweetener. I've made one for you here. You've got definitely got the right consistency for yogurt and using the plain soy milk means that you can pretty much add whatever flavor exactly. you want. Exactly. I've made you a raspberry honey one. All right, like so that. I've got that one. I've got that sour texture. I love this on polenta. It's so good. That's exactly what I was going to say. You can use this one here in your more savory dishes. Yes, yes. This one here, we've got some raspberries. Honey. Some honey. Coconut flakes, I think, yep. on top. Mm-hmm. All right. So and I like it when I put the honey, like the liquidy honey mm. on yogurt, it stays kind of thick and you get lumps of hardened honey from the cold yogurt in it. It's just so good. You've definitely got yogurt that you can make so easy at home for yourself, for your family. It's healthy. It's not only healthy, it's tasty It doesn't have as well. animal protein, no cholesterol. And it's completely plant-based. All good. Join us again on the cutting board when we're gonna do some recipes that include this yogurt.